The baby human is not born a solitary being. From the beginning, they are part of a large network of humanity. And the journey for the baby human is to find their own place within it. Five-month-old Ben is seeing his brother off to school. In the not-so-distant future, he will be joining him in this microcosm of society. But before that, there are essential skills he will have to acquire. It will not be an easy road. Like his brother, he will have to learn about himself and who he is to cooperate and handle conflict. But he won't have to do this alone. He will be guided by the ones he loves and trusts the most. Here in his mother's arms is where that love and trust are nurtured. This strong bond between parent and child is called attachment. The first step in learning to relate to others. It's not only the mother the baby human can attach to. Anyone who responds to the baby human's needs on a regular basis is the person they form an attachment to. Fortunately, nature has ensured that Charlie has come equipped to tug at his father's heart. His smell, the way he looks, the way he feels to the touch evoke tenderness. From the beginning, Charlie's father has played an active role in his care. Bathing Charlie allows for intimate moments between father and child. Each caring interaction strengthens the bond. Secure attachments to loving adults helps the baby human form healthy, intimate relationships when they grow up and allows them to develop into happy, well-adjusted social beings. At Lewis Schmidt's lab at McMaster University, researchers are investigating whether there is a physiological basis to attachment and whether it's related to what researchers call synchronicity. Twelve-week Emma and her mother are each hooked up to an EEG machine that will monitor whether they both have a similar response to an emotional event. This is the synchronicity researchers are looking at. Music is a language that goes directly to the emotions, and before the baby human can even speak, they show an emotional response to it. The first piece is by Vivaldi, an excerpt found to elicit joy in the majority of adults screened prior to this study. Although not obvious to the naked eye, when researchers interpret the recorded heart rate and the brain's electrocortical activity, they find that Emma mirrors her mother's response to the music. The next piece is from Peter and the Wolf, meant to evoke the emotion of fear. What's being monitored is not only whether Emma and her mother share the same emotion, but the same level of intensity. Although Emma visibly shows more emotion than her mother, below the level of consciousness, the intensity of their response is the same. It means there is synchronicity between them. As the researchers follow children through time, they are discovering that synchronicity is a reliable predictor of good attachment. And with good attachment, the baby human has the best chance at good socialization as they grow up. 